Well, go on. You see when man talk about things, yeah, that fucking get man mad, yeah, or really get man upset, yeah. Let me tell you something. You see this thing where the sister must have left the kid and that in the house in Brighton and the youth must have dead and that, yeah. See these sort of things. That's what gets man mad, yeah. How the fuck you gonna leave your youth to go out and skank and that? You going out partying and that, and you leave your youth to die and that, yeah. So what, winding up next to a man and that, or winding up with man is more important than your youth being at home, having your attention and that. And then you go leave the youth and the youth dies and that, yeah. This is the shambles we're talking about. When are people going to start really understanding that it's a joke what's going on out here, that these things need to stop? You understand? Like, how the fuck is, how can you regard going out raving more than the, the, the precious time you get me in life with your youth? This is what I'm talking about, these stupid bitches running up and down and that wanna go out clubbing, wanna go out partying and don't get left with nothing at the end of the day. Look at this one now, the worst case scenario. You go fucking lose your youth in the process of being a hoe. This is what I'm saying, all these tots running up and down, wanna shake their ass and that. Like I'm telling these girls, like, you don't get no respect out here. It's time man them tell you, you ain't getting no respect. You think you do, but you don't get no respect. Shambles thing. Anyway, you see that thing there now? She's going to have to live with that for the rest of her life, you know. Forget now. Forget now what's going on now, yeah. Forget even the, the, all the court case. Forget all of that, yeah. The court case and all that thing there. Just give it a few years when that really sits down and settles on her thing, yeah. And she understands, like, what she lost, innit. Like, all true stupidity. All true, like, lost the guy in the outside and wanted to loss off a man and not even, you understand, joked him. This is an absolute joke, my people. This is what I'm saying. When, when are we going to change the pattern? When's the pattern going to change? Another thing I've got to tell the little brothers as well, I right like, brothers, don't get yourself into debt, you know. Think first before you start getting into all this debt business, yeah. Like, taking food off a next man, ticking this, ticking that. Think about it before you do that, yeah. I was never a man that liked a next man calling my phone. Never, like, where's my peas and that? What do you mean, where's my fucking peas? Yeah, don't get yourself into debt with no man. Do you understand what I'm saying? Be your own boss, be your own man. Yeah, the things I've seen men do for debt, rub off their own mum. You understand for debt, you know, car man want their money and that, and they're too scared to go do what they need to do. You understand? They rub off their mum, friends turn against friends, school friends turn against school friends, people getting murdered for money. You understand? Man going on reckless moves where you don't have to, but just because you owe a man, you, you feel like you need to get this bread back here. You're scared now. You got, I've seen, so before it gets to these points, you know, my brothers, yeah, let me tell you something. Don't owe no one, innit? Go through life, try not to owe no man. If you don't have to take nothing from no man, don't take it, innit? Yeah? Don't want a man phoning your phone, telling you, trying to disrespect you over no money. Yeah? Because that's what ultimately you will get to. Do not get it twisted. You get what I'm saying? You don't know. All this fake beef thing, all this fake internet beef thing. Let me tell you something already, yeah? I told the man them already. It's a fucking disrespect, yeah, to a real man that's gone through things, you get me? That's had to live a certain life. That's had to look over their back. That had to watch out when they're taking kids to fucking the, the, the fucking park and that. You get me? When you're living a certain life, these are little things you take for granted. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, like, man, them know all this fake beef and that is disgusting. It makes me sick. Yeah. And so, for all the, all the man, them that's really gone through beef, that know what it is for life and death, man, to be on your neck at life and death and you to be on someone else's neck at life, to life and death, yeah. And these niggas are making it like a joke and that. See me, I'm screaming no beef, innit? I'm screaming man them get together, but when beef's beef, innit? You can't, certain things you just can't avoid, innit? You understand? But yeah, all this fake, fake beef thing is just disgusting. If you got beef, you got beef. If it's a fake thing, why you even need to fake a beef, brother? Like all this music, fake beef, and that it's a joke thing, because it's going to lead to one place again. Yeah. See this fake beef? It's going to have a, have a funny way. It's going to lead into real beef. Mark my words. All these fake beefs that these people are putting out now. Soon it's going to turn to the real thing and see what they got then. When it does more time, we see they ain't got nothing to say in it. You understand? So all this fake beef, I'm sick of it, man. Brothers, find a better way. You get me? You remember the thing, you know? Freedom's priceless, you know? To be out here and to do, be doing certain things, even to like live a life now where you don't have to look over your back and that. You get me? On, a certain, on certain occasions, yeah? It's like, it's a freedom that, you get me? It's priceless, it's priceless. And like, brothers, this is what we got to say as well. You see a woman, brothers, the woman that you're with, you know, brothers, can determine what life you're going to live, you know. Like, I've been with women, yeah, that like this gangster thing, innit? I've been with women that love that, innit? And they only bring out one side to you. 
if you're with a constructive girl that wants constructive things for you, she's going to bring out another side to you, not even probably you knew you had inside of you. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's all about the girls you move with. If you've got a girl next to you now, yeah, that wants you to be on this bad boy thing, wants you to be on the roads, I keep telling man, then forget about it. These are the messages that man need to get through their head. We look at the gal already. Baby gone dead in the yard and that. Because what? Because you wanted to go out and rave and that. Like, that is pitiful. Like, I'm telling you, if the sisters catch that in jail, they should give that something. They should cook that something. Me, I don't like inciting the violence thing. But you see, with that one, yeah, the baby never had no fucking, you get me, chance. So you have to cook that. Where, where, whatever jail she goes to, them sisters should cook that up, man. And let her know what time it is, innit? And let her sit down with that pain for the rest of her life now. Knowing what she done, innit? Yeah? Sisters, don't let it get to this. You get me? And I'm saying, brothers, remember, like, a woman can determine what sort of way. Because you're going to... Whatever you do, you're gonna try something to impress that woman. That's just a that's just human beings, isn't it? That's nature, isn't it? A man tries to impress a woman and a woman tries to impress a man, isn't it? So if you've got a guy that's moving a certain way and you're trying to impress her, then you get me, you're gonna have problems, my brothers. You get me? Done no nine five.